Well, dear family and friends of First Prez, welcome to this week's sneak a peek. And uh, that's where we take a summary of what's going to happen this coming week in worship. First, let me just simply say how excited I am to get back to in-person worship this Sunday in the sanctuary. I've deeply missed seeing you, and I cannot wait to look upon your beautiful masked faces this Sunday morning in worship. Uh, be sure to check out the church website to register uh, your coming, and um, looking forward to seeing you. Well, this Sunday, we'll have a lot going on in worship. We'll have a, a guest organist to join us, along with a guest flautist, as we will celebrate communion together. Uh, this is a reminder for those of you worshiping home during live stream on Sundays, if you can't be here in person, to be sure to get your elements ready for Sunday morning. So whether together or apart, we can celebrate communion together. And since it is communion, uh, Sunday and the third Sunday in Lent, I want you to use our two texts today or this weekend in preparation uh, to receive the meal. Uh, the first scripture we're going to be looking at is Exodus 20 verses 1 through 17. It's known as the Decalogue or more commonly known as the Ten Commandments. My preaching text is coming from John's Gospel chapter 2 verses 13 to 22 and it has Jesus entering the temple area and he begins to flip tables of the vendors who are selling their goods in God's house. As you look at this text in John, I want you to ask yourself, if Jesus were to visit the temple area in my heart, what tables would he find there that he would have to flip in me? Also, the Ten Commandments are a wonderful ruler to gauge the direction of our spiritual walk. We are reminded of this in our uh, one of our confessions, the Second Helvetic Confession. It says, It is therefore fitting that when we come to the Lord's Supper, we first examine ourselves according to the commandment of the Apostle, especially as to the kind of faith we have, whether we believe that Christ has come to save sinners and to call them to repentance, and whether each person believes that he or she is in the number of those who have been delivered by Christ and saved, and whether he or she is determined to change their wicked life, to lead a holy life, with the Lord's help to persevere in the true religion in harmony with all brothers and sisters, in order to give due thanks to God for God's deliverance. That's a great statement from one of our confessions. Friends, this is uh, all very well fitting for both our Lenten journey to Easter as uh, well as in our reflections about our personal Christ followership. And I want us to use this as we come to the Lord's Table Sunday. Can't wait to see you. Share your winsome story of Christ with everyone you know. Bye-bye.